In Washington today, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau made a visit to the White House and obviously the big talk centered around President Trump's travel ban. All of that going on as reports say that the president's national security advisor, Mike Flynn, could be on his way out. Tracy Potts is following all of it for us today from Washington. Kimberly, good evening. Canada's Prime Minister spending the back half of his day on Capitol Hill after spending time at the White House with President Trump in their first joint appearance. They focused a lot on jobs and trade, but the real disconnect between these two countries is happening at the border. In their first meeting, President Trump and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau agreed to work together to create jobs, but expressed differing opinions on border security. I said at the beginning, we are going to get the bad ones, uh, the really bad ones. We're getting them out, and that's exactly what we're doing. We continue to pursue our policies of, of uh, openness uh, towards immigration refugees without compromising security. Trudeau is offering to accept refugees into his country while the president's temporary travel ban remains on hold in the courts. Today, Trudeau said he wasn't in Washington to lecture the U.S. leader on how to keep his people safe. While the two leaders talked about border issues, Democrats called on the president to fire National Security Advisor Mike Flynn. Misleading the country on a subject this serious, uh, if those allegations are true, he has got to go. Flynn is under fire for discussing sanctions with Russian leaders before the president took office and reportedly misleading Vice President Pence about the conversation. If he did lie to the vice president, then he should go. Well, I think the key question here is, uh, did President Trump know what Mike Flynn was up to? And if he did, then they're going to have to move this along quietly. White House aides deny Flynn's on the verge of being fired. Questions about those conversations with Director Flynn and the Russian officials, part of the larger investigation here into whether Russia tried to influence the presidential election. From Washington, Tracy Potts, Local 4.